Not only does our suffering help us, our suffering helps others, but our suffering glorifies God. It doesn't mean that he enjoys suffering. It just means that he chooses to get the glory from the suffering. And again, these are, these are components like I just mentally can't get it together. He doesn't enjoy suffering. He just gets the return. One of the most comprehensive passages on this is John chapter 9. I'm going to read you seven verses. So follow along with me. John 9, here we go. And as Jesus passed by, he saw a man which was blind from his birth. And his disciples asked him, saying, Master, who did sin? Was it this man or his parents that he was born blind? See, already they're trying to blame. This is on him. This is chastening. Jesus answered, Neither hath this man sinned nor his parents. Ah. Now, does that mean that they're not sinners? No, of course they're sinners. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Everyone's a sinner. Verse 3 is a response to verse 2. Who did sin, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? What Jesus said is neither. It's not their fault. But he goes on to say, but that the works of God should be made manifest in him. He goes on to say, I must work the works of him that sent me while it is day. The night cometh when no man can work. As long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. When he hath thus spoken, he spat on the ground and made clay of the spittle, and he anointed the eyes of the blind man with the clay. And said unto him, Go wash in the pool of Siloam. I've been there, by the way. I did not rub mud in my eyes. Which is, by interpretation, sent. He went his way, therefore, and washed and came seen. This guy who was born blind was not his fault. It was that the works of God should be made manifest. It wasn't, it wasn't him and it wasn't his parents. It was that God could demonstrate his power. Sometimes that's why we suffer. It was that God can demonstrate his power that way. This man's tragedy was a result of God's will in his life. Explain that one. I can't. Outside of the fact that God gets the glory for it, He's the Creator, He can do what He wants with His creation. And now the return on the investment is that He came seeing. And later on, other people who read this story believed and placed their faith in Him. So somehow or another, God used this man's blindness to produce fruit in His life and in other people's life. God got the glory. 